Because when you're the host, uh, when you're the host, you can start with it. When you're the guest, you're just going to have to do it the hard way. It let me and then I panicked. Uh, I was like, ah, I don't know. Like, why? What's up? Go away, chat. Chat, she's kidding. Oh my she God. doesn't really okay, want you to go away, chat. Hey! Okay. Okay, so show me these beautiful cards and tell us all about them. Okay, so Ben's the expert, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are Cheetos Cajun cards. And I'm really excited because uh, I am Cajun. I'm from Louisiana. You weren't raised. Cajun until you got the cards because they can't be Cajun without the cards. It's true, guys. Um, they activated me. Um, <laughs> they activated my Cajun. And uh, it looks like there's like Cheetos, Cajun Cheetos, and uh, Cajun mac and cheese. And then I was going on Walmart app and I was like, I got to get this Cajun mac and cheese. And then it was like, did you know there's a kit, a Cheetos Cajun kit? And I was like, no, what's in the kit? And it was like cards. And I was like, oh, my brand, so, my Cheetos. <laughs> Apparently there's a Cheetos tarot filter because the Cheetos, uh, the Cajun Cheetos Chester the cartoon said so, but I still haven't been able to find it. So dang it. Ready to uncover the fiery mysteries of your future? Oh. Chester the Cheetah says. Oh my. It's 22 cards. Oh, inspired by the Major Arcana. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it looks like it has really quirky, like, names to them, too. Like, instead of the world card, it's a world of mischief. Okay. And then, like, what was another one? mischievous moon and it's him like eating the fucking cheetos nice like, with a fleur de lis right there i don't know it's just really funny and cheetle stardust well uh this is my first time seeing them and i was really excited i was like kate are you gonna use your new uh your new cheetos cards and she's like oh yeah oh my god oh yeah and Absolutely. uh i don't have that I, I don't have those again this is my first time but i wanted to match her freak so i've got spirit halloween tarot cards and uh, they have the full, you know, the full spectrum, the full 50, whatever the fuck. But, like, this is the Seven of Cups. Okay. Yes. This is the Three of Cups. Ooh. So, uh... What you making, girl? Stuff. Things. You know what her cauldron looks like? Those um those ASMR lives where they have like the rocks and the dice and the Oh pot. my god. That's what it looks like to me. Like I was trying to mimic it. I can't. I don't know why I thought I could. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Together oh, we can god. achieve magic. Okay guys. This guys, is this whole life. life is just gonna be us trying out SMR sounds. Just try to see what we can mimic. That would be fun, soup. actually. Yes. Wait. Okay. I might be able to do it with dice. Oh my god. And you have to have running water in the background. I'll just pull oh. this over my head every two minutes. Oh my god. No. Okay. I have a bathroom Beautiful. right there. I could have running water in the background. Oh, amazing. Can I turn the shower on? Okay. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow. Should should I roll some some dice? Are you gonna shuffle those up good and good? Yeah. Good and good golly. Good golly gosh, guys. I gotta shuffle these cards. Careful, they're spicy. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, it even has a little book, too. Oh. So stupid. Messenger of the cheesiness tells us it's time to put the past behind us. Remember that when one door closes, we must open another. God. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chester. <gasps> Thanks, Chester. Thank you. The God of Cheetos. The God of Cheetos. The deity Thanks, of Chester. Cheetos. Thank you so much. I want you to ask Chester the whole fucking live. What? It, like, you know how you ask the cards? Chester. I want you to ask Chester. Okay. Are you ready, Chester? Okay. Let's, uh, let's clean you off. Okay, so when you do that, I was about to say, when you do that, he's like stuck almost in a cage and he's like right here, back here, like <laughs> this. He's like, I guess. Uh, okay, let me uh, team revamp sweep to you, sir. If you want it. Like, he knows us by our orange fingers. Oh, God. Whom the hell? <laughs> All right. What do we want to roll dice or do we yeah. want to guess the number? Okay. Yeah. Two through 12 guys. Ready? Go. One. You're incorrect. <laughs> 13. Cause it's one through, I mean, two through 12. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny guys laugh. Sorry. <laughs> Six. Joy got it. Yes. Enjoy to the Cheetos, the Chester the Cheetos. Chester, Chester, what card does Joy need? What, what does Joy need right now? Mm -hmm. Or unless you want a specific reading, Joy. Just see what Chester has to say. Chester, what do you have to say about Joy? Ah! And I'm gonna ask Spirit Halloween. Okay, three cards. Cheesy philosopher. Um, he will know us by our orange fingers. Um, oh my god, Joy chilling, Emperor Chester. Yeah, Joy fucking chilling, but she don't think she chilling though. No, uh, Cheetos lovers, and you're in love with yourself. Yeah, and your orange fingers. Mm. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, let's see if I can find it in here. Uh, Are you going to cheesy... read it from the book? Yes. Okay. What does Chester Cheetah have to say? Okay. Emperor Chester? Um, Emperor Chester asks us to consider what types of leadership are present in our lives. Your own. Okay, bye. Uh, cheesy philosopher? Encourages us to seek wisdom, be it from mentors, teachers, or within ourselves. Yourself. I don't, know, I don't know if I made that clear. Just because it's a podcast so you guys don't know, Joy's in the comments and she answered and she's like, I hate me actually, but okay, crying face. If you if you rewind this just a, a few moments back, you're going to hear Kate say she doesn't think she is. Okay. But that's too bad. Anyway, Cheetos Lovers <laughs> represents meaningful connections and encourages to seek harmony in the face of imbalance. It's you. It's yourself. Okay, done. She said in that card is the thumb very swelled up. This one? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a really, really spicy thumb. Very spicy, very spicy. This too, very spicy. Yeah. All right, all right. Joy, I, don't, I don't think you're arguing with me. I, th this was me being silly with you like I always am. Silly, silly. She said because her thumb is still kind of broken, she thinks. Broken when you do what? Whoa, the way these cards are cut, I never noticed it before. They have like this weird, like, I guess where they were like printed out as a sheet. Yeah. Well, you it's know, like, like weird where they're texture. attached together right there? Yeah. Like the cut's weird. Huh. Don't be sorry, Joy. We're, we want to be silly, but we actually do want to help. Uh, we're just being our silly, goofy selves. Okay, Spirit <laughs> Halloween. Do you have a message for Joy? Uh, it's Eight of Cups, which is walking away. Uh, but... It is a 
It is a pirate. Uh... It is a skeleton pirate. Oh, because you're pirating your own fucking ship and you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me, too. No. But... It's like, yes, Joy, this is your ship. No. Yes, Joy. It's actually really fucking funny. She Even though it's not it. funny to you. Yes. She hates it. It's not funny to you. Okay. Next. She just right. said, um, okay. She we know you don't like it. We can see that you are driving your own ship. We can see like all the things, but you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. We love you, Joy. <laughs> there's there's I don't think there's anybody else that we work with that that were like uh I don't even know how to explain that. Everybody else were like, does this feel right? Does this feel correct? And then with you we're just kinda like, yeah, well. She said, I don't really know how to deal with it. Cause I still don't see the results, I guess. Wait, results for what? What she's wanted. You're in your apartment. And you're, you've gotten away from your non-chosen family. And doesn't she have a career coming up? Like a new job? Like all the things that she wanted, didn't she get it? I In don't the know. Most joy way possible. Because she didn't Literally. want any. It's the fact that I still don't have a job. I thought you did. Did you? Did you tell them no? Didn't you move because of a job? It really pushes you down. We'll take your hands and step. Pushing. Oh, are you pushing yourself forward? Push, push, push. I thought you were moving. She said, no, I haven't moved. I said no to the job. That made me manic. I really thought that you stayed there. I really like, thought that you, yeah, I really thought that you. Like purposefully didn't do the things. Yeah, you said no back in May. And you're like living your life the way that you want. And you're even, you even changed the verbiage to what I want and what I need and what I think is appropriate. And the power's back in your hands um, with everything. Like you've made it to where you can change the drop of a hat and you do. And that your life is still okay when you do that. Yeah, but I'm still looking for a job of plan A is what she said. Okay. I'm getting a thumbs up, like, yep, all good. Didn't Chester Cheetah have his thumb up, like, three times? Yes. But yeah. he might, to be fair, he might have his thumb up in every card, because that's mm -hmm. the Chester Cheetah thing. No, the, the lovers is... Mm -mm. No. The philosopher, the emperor, the philosopher, and the lovers. It's still in your hands, Joy. And then you denied the job. 
So it's like a, it's still in your hands. You still have control of your life. She said, I think I need to book a session to explain maybe. No, here, here's the thing. Uh, the, the explanation that you're going to give and, you know, correct me if I'm wrong is basically like, you know, you chose not to do the thing in May. Um, you still haven't moved yet or whatever, but you did have that job. You did have, you started packing, you started doing everything and you freaked out and said, no, you've also been healing all the stuff that makes you freak out. You've been healing all the stuff to get you separated. So you don't need family, but you don't want a tower moment. You don't want things in highest good. You want it to work out. So it's not shaky ground. You know that it's going to go slower that way. You chose it to do that, but you also tr made it to where like you've like broken apart walls and oceans and everything to bring everything to you faster. And then when you get it, you tell it no. That was not the job I wanted. It wasn't the way I wanted. And now I'm looking for the one I want. Okay. I still see you doing a, a marvelous job. Scared, but I personally have seen you and Kate has from the beginning of it. And the way that you wanted to do it, you're still very much driving your own ship. It might not be comfortable, but everything's not falling apart. You're and very in control. Yeah, and when it started to fall apart, energetically, mentally, when it was overwhelming, you were still in control and you fixed that. Does that make sense? Okay. You said she gets it because you're still in control of everything. You have the control to deny it. You have the control to bring it to you. You have the control to stay. but it doesn't look like I'm in control of the time. I thought you got it in the time that you wanted. Kate has a phone too. She just always wears black. She wants to type out like a million things and say mm. a bunch of things. Yes. No, I said I wanted, uh, that wasn't the one I wanted, the one of plan A. Okay, you're still very much getting what you want and what you don't want. You're getting the things. You also at one point in time asked for stepping stone of a job. Then you asked for it to not happen that way. Then you had like everything that you want. And when we first started, when you and I first started, your team didn't know which direction to go and they didn't know which costumes to make for the play, which script they were following. Everything was, everything was a mess. Now they're ready and they're ready to change direction and it changes but you're the one that calls the shots completely. You don't even have them doing the tasks as much as you used to. Like everything's very much in your hands. That's all the card said. It just said, even though you're not, you don't, you might not think that it's working out for you. You are very much making it happen. It's kind of like a, uh, like have a little faith in yourself. Here is your confirmation that you're doing what, what you're trying to do. I am playing down the work we did. I'm just trying to say that doesn't feel in my hands. Yeah, I it understand never, that. It never has, but it is. Especially with anxiety. I definitely relate to that because you feel like it's always up in the air, but really it's your hands that are shaking. Like you feel like it's like up in the air shaking, but it's really shaking. And uh, you're talking to someone who used to get anxiety going to the store, going out in public, doing anything outside of the house. I'm not playing down. It's just the thing I really want is still not here yet. So it makes so me makes feel easier. unsure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That's understandable. We don't ever want you to feel like you have to book a session. If that makes you feel good and you want to book with Kate because you've been working with her recently, then do it, Joy. Absolutely. Whatever makes you feel like in control of yourself, we want that for you. But we don't ever want you to feel like you have to because it is in your hands. But hell, I need help sometimes from Kate. Kate needs help from me sometimes. So don't feel bad if you want to book a session, but don't feel like you have to, especially uh, just for like conversation, if that makes sense. Yeah, like uh, I'll give you an example. Whenever I get asked to stay late at work, I'm like, fucking no, I can't believe they would fucking ask me that. And it's like, hey, I'm staying late um, on these days now. It's like, because I want to because I said so, like, you know what I mean? So I know how good it feels to be the one in control of the things because what growing up, you were out of control. Nothing you could do would make you in control. So now when you do, when you are able to have control, that's what you want. You don't care if it's silly looking, you don't care if it makes you feel silly It doesn't matter. That's your healing right now is being in control. And then once it's all healed, maybe in the future, you won't have to be like that. When, when, it, when it gets like this. Okay. So I need to, what, whenever this happens with you, joy, I always want to remind you of all the huge things that you consider small that you've, that you've healed. You had no way to say no. You did not, you did not, it was uncomfortable. You did not like having people come into your home, but you didn't know how to make it to where it couldn't have. Like there's, there's so many things that are fucking huge that you have healed. And they're all leading to the main thing that you want. Okay, let me, let me just show you this, Joy. Do you know what I want? I want my TikTok not not to gain followers so i'm not in the creator fund or anything like that i want the healings and the way that we do things and how easy it is to reach millions of people and i don't care about like views and stuff i want the heat like it, if it was just the healing videos if it was just explanations i would love that i would love for that to go everywhere and for more people to know that they can do it for free and themselves and be empowered. I would fucking love that. I've wanted that for a very long time. I don't care if it's videos that are just healing phrases and not, like doesn't show my fucking face at all. I don't, I don't fucking care. I want it to go out. It has not happened yet. And I do shit ton of healings all the time and not solely based on that, but that is something that I would like. But if that hasn't happened, I'm continuing to work on myself and I'm still very much happy with things being in my own hands. And when I couldn't go live, when I couldn't make content and like talk with you guys, I kept digging for not trying to make that happen, but what the fuck was making me hurt or sad or unable to be in control? That's what I want you guys to look at, all of you. I want, and well, I'm saying I, but Kate as well, but I just don't want to speak for her. We want you guys to notice the uncomfortable. We want you to notice the things that don't feel good and figure out why they don't feel good, why they're uncomfortable. Heal that. That Bring way. Bring your subconscious to conscious. That way, when the big thing that you want comes to you, you'll be fucking ready for it. And I just, I was like, yeah, we've healed so much. I can handle hate. Then I had someone from like 2020, 2021, all up in my live talking about something I hadn't said before. And I spun out and I was like, fuck, I guess I still can't handle that. I, I thought I could, I couldn't. So. So if I can't handle that, it's another thing. Like when people ask for tons of money, I'm like, have you healed the part of you that can handle having tons of money without spending out? 
But in that moment, you think, yes, of course I have. And it's like, have you? That's crazy, because what are you doing with your money now? You know? So I'm not talking about like you, Joy. I'm talking about like in general, people that are like, yes, I have healed to ha be a billionaire. It's you like, cannot, what would you do? With so that? sorry. You cannot say in the meantime, you still need a job when you turn down a job. I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> you had a job. You had two or three and you said no to all of them. So don't say in the meantime, I don't want to hear it. It's not the one you wanted. You turned it down. That's having control. Right. And you said no to it, which again, congratulations on having the control to say no to the thing that you didn't want, but do not sit there and tell me, but in the meantime, I need a job. No, I'm not going to listen to that shit. It could have brought you closer to family joy. It, was it something in the description that like said that it would take you away from family? Okay, I still need the one I want. Good, get it. Get it. I still want all my videos to go out and the healings to go out. I'm going to heal the stuff that's stopping it. I want you to look at the stuff that's stopping it. That's what I said the last time we worked together. That's why you stopped working with me. One of the reasons. I believe you, Joy. I'm not mad at you. It's just, it went from a really fun, silly live. Like, you know, I always yell at you. You're the only person I fucking yell with mm -hmm. and doing it publicly now. So people probably think I'm mad at you and I'm not. Um, it's frustrating because of how much energy and time I have spent with you to give you exactly what you want and help you, even though it's not my verbiage, it's not the way I like to do things. And then now you're working with Kate and you have figured out even better verbiage, brought even more things to you, and you're still unsatisfied. And it's like, okay, but at least, can you please look at how much you've healed? Can you please look at how you have the ability to say, I'm not happy, I don't want this, I want something different. You're still moving forward, Joy, even though it's back and forth, it's still back and forth forward. Yeah, it's like running from an alligator. And that's why we just smile and laugh. Because you're still going forward. You're still healing the things, and even I know, though it's zigzaggy. We know that you're uncomfortable. We know, we know you are. And unfortunately, that's endearing to us. Because it's like, it's Joy. She's extremely uncomfortable. But look at that bitch go. She's mm -hmm. still fucking doing the things. And I feel like being uncomfortable makes you heal will make some people heal. I did not brush you off. Don't you even fucking say that to me. Tell me once that I brushed you off. Tell me once. Well, we wouldn't be having this live right now if she was brushing you off, Joy. We wouldn't have even cared. This is the first time I've even brought up the fact that you work with Kate instead of me. Because it doesn't matter because you're still healing yourself. I didn't take offense to it. I was using it as an example of you've healed so much and now you're working with someone else to get this other part of it. The only reason I notice is because our scheduling app is the same. And I'll see it. Can you join the lives? It's not, it's not that kind of live, dang it. It was supposed to be silly and fun and dice and cards. Kate had Cheeto cards. We were just trying to have fun. We just wanted to have fun oh, and do Yancy. some healings. I'm over here crying and this isn't even about me, Yancy said. I'm telling you that I care about you. I'm telling you that if you ever book with me, I will be like, hey, Joy, how's it going? There are people that I don't work with anymore because they don't work on themselves. 
You are still moving forward, Joy. That's the point we're making. And yeah, it's frustrating because the way that Kate and I work, we just bust the shit open and fucking do it for the majority of the things. And that's not what you wanted. And that's fine. But yeah, it's fucking frustrating. You wanted us to creak the door open and do, 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 do. And then close that door and then and open another and then close that one and then open another and then maybe go over here and then maybe there's a mountain and then maybe there's a thing. Yes. What's something that you think you want, Kate, that you haven't gotten yet? Oh, um, social skills. Oh yeah. You keep asking, like you keep, it, it seems that's almost, that's weekly, if not multiple times a week. Yes. And I'll I, see things correctly and I'll be like, cat. I'm not uh, seeing this thing correctly. And it's like, Kate, hey, that's exactly what it is. It's like, okay, because I feel like that's exactly what it is. But so what there was this? recently, just last uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. Kate said, hey, there's this um, person at work and they um, look at me in the face, like they get really close to talk and they look at my eyes, but then they look over here at my skin and here and here and here and here. She's like, I guess my question is, is that normal? And I'm like, uh, cause I feel into it and I'm like, normal as in like normal human behavior, like interactions. And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, no, I mean, but there is no normal but he's not, he's not actually looking at your skin or your face. He is trying to figure out where to look. And then she could take a step back and she saw that it was a pattern. And then I was like, and the reason he's so close is because he likes to talk shit about people. And then she like, she was like, yes, he does. And then she laughed, but she's constantly wanting to interact and understand normalcy with, with human interaction. And there isn't. There isn't normalcy in human interaction. It spins her. Because, and then, and then if somebody says something like, uh, um, but Kate, remember you're married. And I'll be like, what does it have to do with this? Oh my God. And then like, it'll just fucking pew. And I'm like, oh my God, what does that mean? They're mentioning I'm married. Like, and then, yeah. And so it's just stuff like that. And it's like, no, they're just, they're fucking weird. It's all about them. Anyway, it's just, yeah. So that's something where I'm like, I just want to be normal. And it's like, Kate, hey, you're more than normal. I don't understand. And I'm like, yes, but I want to be. I'll have Kate look. I'll be like, are my TikToks reaching? Because, you know, the numbers will say it's whatever. And I'm like, is it reaching every corner of TikTok that it can? It's reaching kink talk. It's reaching um, craft talk. It's reaching witch talk, spiritual talk just because they're not engaging doesn't mean I'm not putting it out there. doesn't mean it's not getting out there. So I'm like, we spin out a little bit about stuff that doesn't really matter, but every single day we don't try to make that thing happen. We try to look at why the fuck did I spin out from this? What is the reason that makes me feel like I'm out of control? when I'm absolutely in control and I'm doing the things. I remember when I was trying to look for my eyes, I I'm a spiritual feeler. I was looking for my spiritual sight. I was like, Kate, where are my eyes? And she's like, Kat, I don't know how to tell you this. They, I, you, you can see, I'm looking at you. Your guides say you can see, you can see. I, uh, every time mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to help you. Beep, beep. And I'm like, but where are my eyes? I need my eyes and da 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 da, da and I should be able to see and I should da, da 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 Whatever we did to heal all of that to where I didn't give a fuck is when I was able to step into feeling. And I gotta tell you, when it comes to like spiritual feeling, ain't nobody can fucking do it like I can. Nobody can. It's so fucking cool. Shut up, Tom. Tom said I'm married. <laughs> Thank you so much. She's a lot of flirt with me, Tom. <laughs> But yeah, it's like a, once you step back and see yourself is when it all comes together every time, every time. You want to do another dice roll? 
Did it? It like my, sped up. My screen is like slightly frozen. Yep. It like sped up. Oh, there we go. Hey, Kat! It asked me if I wanted to resume. It kicked me completely the fuck out. Listen here, TikTok. It's because I flirted with you and you're married. <gasps> oh, my God. Spirit of it's nice, kid. No, I'm just um, uh, the screen froze with Cat giving the most sassy look. It's true. It was like, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, it gave us a chance to, like, explain the things, too. Yeah. So I like that. But I yelled. I fucking hate when I yell. At least I wasn't yelling at someone, like, that I didn't like. Mm. <sighs> Love you, Joy. So much. I do. We would definitely not... Uh, Entertain it. it no. Wouldn't. When I don't like something, I'll even say it out loud. I'll be like, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like you. I don't like. Mm. Mm. I'll just block it in the chat. I'll mute. I'll mute him in the chat. All right. Joy, I'm disconnecting from you. I love you very much. Girl, you wish you could explain yourself better. You write paragraphs. Don't be sorry for tonight. Oh my God. We are not sorry. Just Excellent. let it. We want to do dice and cards now. I love you very much. Yes. And even though we didn't do any like healings, please do your closing statements because that was a fucking lot. You definitely got the perspectives tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. No, you don't pay. You just guess. We don't. We don't charge for our lives. At least we m maybe we will someday. Yeah. I don't want any soul contracts, but as of right now, we just haven't. We just don't be doing that right now, okay? We just don't. All right, two through 12. And no one's mad at you, Joy. We all love you. Two through so 12. don't spin out on that because there's nothing to spin out on. Bye. We just want to roll dice. <laughs> Yancey, you got it. It's <gasps> nine. Oh my God. Okay, Yancey. What is what does Yancey need to know right now, Chester the Cheetah? Apparently you're smoking. Oh, oh are you God. like actually smoking? That made the inside of my fucking knees sweat. Oh. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Like smoking hot, Yancey? Yes, yes, of course. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. All right, fancy antsy. She said not at this moment, LOL. All right, first one, mischievous moon. Oh, so secret. It's so crunchy though, it's not as secret as you think it is. Okay, Cheeto's paw. Okay. That artwork is the first artwork I purchased on TikTok. He's like, He's like, bye is kind of what I see, but uh, that's fine. And the cheesy judgment, bye. Is he, is he judging the Cheetos for not being spicy enough? Be spicier, Cheetos. Okay, all right. She said, secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. You're the same oversoul as Ben. I know that that's not true. You like sneaky things. But you're like trying to wave bye to it. I don't understand. You're trying to be like, I will not be secret anymore. It's like, why? You think it's hilarious. Fuck. You and your sister are secretive. You guys have jokes, right? Do you have keywords, like keywords that you only say to each other or something? Mischievous moon, all about intuition and what's happening beneath the surface. Yeah, no shit, Mr. Chester. <sighs> and then, uh, what Cheeto's paw this is. Right, the looks you give each other, too. Mm -hmm. Mm 
There it is. Uh, reminds us of the value of self-reflection and spending time without the distractions of the outside world. No, you're you're like waving bye. Sorry, Chester, that's not what this is. Cheesy judgment encourages us to reflect and make decisions using both our intuition and our intellect. Sorry, uh, Chester, that's... Anyway, I don't know what, like, this feels very much like I've seen the error of my ways. I will not be doing this anymore. Did you hear that it was wrong or something? Why do you feel really? bad about it? You said me and my brother have keywords, very separate conversations. Yeah, but I bet your brother and your sister don't have a secret language. You have a secret language with both of them. Why do you feel like it's wrong or bad? Um, I asked a question. <laughs> well, thanks. Oh, because she wants to blend in. Oh. Oh, it seems very much like, I just want to be normal. It's like, I why? think it feels so separate, like the family isn't as close because of it. You're even yeah, closer you... because of it. Yeah. You make this life what? more fun. Like, it's almost like... um it's like if what it, what Yancy's not going to be there, Nancy's not going to be there. I don't. Oh, I kind of don't want to go to this reunion. I don't want to go to this reunion. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't know. Like Nancy's not going to be there though. Hmm. No. Like. What do you mean you want to be normal? Why? Also, like I told, I remember telling um my my eldest child like. Hey, I, I hope that you and, and Max end up being close when you get older, because there's going to be stuff that they don't want to tell me, no matter how open everything is, they're going to want to have private conversations and they do, they end up telling me later, a majority of them, but like, it's really nice to have someone in the world you can tell things to and know that it's just going to stay between the two of you. She said, uh, I thought it made family members feel isolated, so I felt bad. They don't. They have other family members that they have languages with. So it's like, they might, this is going to sound really weird, they might pretend it does. And they might be like, oh my God, stop it. But then they go around, They. it's like, they're like, oh my God, stop it. Did you hear blah, 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 blah. It's like they have their own language with their person too. Daniel, even though your sister's passed, I definitely still feel like you have that language with your sister. Still. Yeah. For those confused listening, Daniel is in the comments. We're still working with Yancy. Oh, she's yeah. laughing. She's like, okay, I was like, maybe I'd taken this too far. No. Uh, I got um, not far enough, Yancy. It's like everybody's just enjoying the fuck out of your company. So it's like... I guess that's it. I guess that's all you needed. Yeah. We haven't even really had anybody do a healing. It's. I guess it's just perspectives. Those are always fun. I can go worse, LOL. Wait, wait. Yeah, that's yes. the Yancey they miss. That That's what they love. It's almost like a, bitch, I miss when you used to be mean. And it's like, it wasn't even fucking mean. Like, it was just very like. <laughs> okay, two through 12. Love you, Yancey. Yes, Chester Cheetah just likes perspectives. He's just a perspective kind of guy, I guess. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yes. Whoa, there's a lot of numbers. Hold on, I'm going to try to make sure. So there might be a delay. Um, I went through all that work and none of you got it yet. Gross. Nope. There you go. Nope. 
Absolutely not. No. Ridiculous. Yes. A person. A person. Oh, a person. A okay. person, like I said. A person. Nine. Would like a reading Chester. Chester Cheetah. Yum. Yes. Spicy Cajun Cheetah. Amen. This is, yes. Here's that. Okay. Um, yes, she has a Chester Cheetah deck. Oh my glad. Oh my glad. Okay. Oh, oh Jesus. Dick. Okay. Um, first one, Jesus Christ. Jesus uh, Christ. Jesus. Contemplative cat is this one? Mr. Jesus himself. Uh, <gasps> Trickster's Tower. Ah, he said. And then Messenger of Cheesiness. Um, this feels they, very much like you're watching something crumble. You don't even fucking care. They keep kicking you out and you go in X X mode, X Games mode. Hmm. Who is who's trying to fucking who's trying to fuck with you and you're just like, whoo. Like, you know how like if you trip and fall, but you just play it off and like do a dance. What is that? Yeet? Dr. Beat. Your oh, your job. Mm, maybe. It's very like you anyway. Um you <laughs> anyway. Oh look, it even has it like in the sun fucking back here. Look at that shit. Is that a nuclear power plant on his beach? Oh. I like that. I like that a lot. Is it the death card? A uh, messenger of cheesiness. Oh, I don't yeah, know. it has to be because that f the floral thing with the pretzels. That's the death card. Hell yeah. And this to the uh, the drop Cheeto pretzel. Broken. Heh. Yeah. Um. You're just fucking coasting, man. It's like a uh, nothing can really bother you with this, which is exactly how Nothing's it should be. gonna change my world. Girl. Nothing gonna change my world. Do you know that song? Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. I can't sing it right now. <laughs> what is that fucking song? Do you guys know? It's a Fiona Apple song. Let me fucking look it up. Nothing's gonna change my world. Fiona Apple. Across the universe, who knows? Thank you. Is. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the lyrics. Words are flowing out like endless rain into a paper cup. They slither while they pass. They slip away across the universe. Pools of sorrow, waves of joy are drifting through my open mind. That doesn't, none of that fits. Processing and caressing me. Nothing's going to change my world. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the only part that really fits. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I didn't see it in Across the Universe. I saw it in um, um, the fucking movie that I bring up in The Guided Adventures all the time where it goes black and white and then turns to color that you know. Lunasol. Could you like me to say your actual name? I don't know. Is there any healing that needs to happen or is it just like it's very going? much yes. like a that one. You always remember it. Um it's almost like an acknowledgement. Like you know what you're doing. Mm, they said do I need to do anything? Acknowledge it. Be like, yeah, this is what I thought was happening is happening. Yeah, they're trying to eat you. Someone's trying to get you fired. Mm-hmm. Oh, it made me burp, so. Do you want to leave that job? Because if not, just keep going, no.
Hello. Mm -mm. Hello. Just not the politics. You must have said you like the job, just not the politics. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I like this. I like this place. I like. I like where I live, just not the politics. So like. Um, remove they yourself try to from eat, the politics. Yeah, they try to eat me, and I was like, no. You ski ski. Oh, do that. Do the ski skirt. Whoop. Skirt on them hose. Ski ski. And like pull the thread on the politics and just be like unravel it. Feels pretty good. Speed it up. When I try to say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you can just unravel stuff. I mean, like, I personally, well, I personally do things in the highest good of all souls can sit and teams allow, but I already have it set up to do that. And I also undo anything we shouldn't have done. But if it's your thread from the tapestry, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. One more? Yeah, hell yeah. Y'all ready for this? Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Sorry, I missed my cue. No. Pick a number. Wait, someone already got it. Hold on. It's me, Paula. <gasps> Okay, uh, Mr. Chested Cheetah, what does what does Paula need? What what does she need to know? Ah, oh, dear fast. Jesus, Chester. I get the song Chevy riding hot. Chevy riding hot, boy. Chevy riding hot, boy. Chevy riding hot. Don't be gangsta wheezy. Oh. Okay, spotted sun. Of course, of course. Spotted sun. Hmm. Yes. And then fiery wheel of fortune. And then, oh, do you want to still see it? No, that's fine. All of this has to do with the sun because she's part of the sun. Tasty temperance. Is the sun leaking? See the, the stream of stuff from the sun? Yeah. It's leaking. And there's hey, holes in it. It's hey, gone. Where is your sun, people? Oh, put the rays. It's your rays. Can you put the rays back to balance divine working order? Yeah, um, some of your energy, you need to go towards you. It, it can't just be about everybody else, and how are you going to thrive? I mean, helping others the way that you like to do, it does help you thrive. There is a balance there, but right now it's imbalanced. That's all. It's just imbalanced. It doesn't mean stop. It just means balance it out. Like, um, Kate has just learned the art of decompressing and she'll be like, Hey guys, I would like to go home early and decompress before our guided adventure tonight and watch uh, a TV show with my husband. Mm -hmm. And it used to be that she wouldn't do that at all. She would stay, she would come over. It's, uh, it's her time with her family. She, we've all, or she would go, I don't know. Does everybody, did everybody heal something tonight? because I wanna make sure that everybody's taken care of. And it's like, what about you, Kate? And she's like, I'm good, I'm always good. And it's like. Well, I'm like, uh, the valve is about to explode. And it's like, you can hear the tss of the kettle, the overpressurization of the kettle and the steam. And it's like, a, I'm fine. Tss I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I, but the thing is, is my awareness wasn't there. For it it's almost like you can yeah. hear it's almost like an alarm going off and you're just like oh it's always been like that anyway or like hearing an alarm in your dream and you just think it's part of the radio or something mm. 
And it's like, no, it's time to do something about this. And it's like, right, cool. Take the dream pizza out of the oven. And it's like, no, you should wake up and do something about this. Right, cool. Cool, cool, I yes. Will, I will put this in the closet. And it's like, what? No. Why would you do that? It's on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm, yes. <laughs> Great observation. What? Yancy, all oh, Kate, I'd like to hug you, but without touching at all. She Thank likes you hugs. So much. I do. She does. She really does. She's not. always. I'm the one that doesn't like to be touched. It's so I weird. To, I used to not. Um, and then I think I got my uh, energy under control, and and realized Dude, well, that I like it. Not like the wind to touch her. Oh my god! That or if air was off. blowing too hard. Pissed her off so much. Me, I'm like, I am freaking out. I need the wind. I like put the wind on my forehead. Like I lean in in the car and just be like, blow on me. That's what she said. <laughs> you like the thought so of hugs, but not the act. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here, I'll give you a virtual hug. Yep. Okay, bye. A lot of it is. Not all the way, but yeah, a good bit of feelers probably don't like mm. to be touched. That's it's a like, good point. get the fuck off me. Get the, get, the, mm. get the fuck off me. I remember, like, with my, uh, can't blow on me, sis. <laughs> um, I, I remember I was like, I didn't want to cuddle with my kids at all because I was like, I just had uh, five sessions today. I was inside their bodies and in another time and space, and the cat was on me the whole time. So, no, I don't have the energy or the ability to cuddle. Get the fuck off of me. I'm not like that anymore. Even fans, God, even fans were fucking painful. Yeah, yeah. you hated it. <sighs> yeah. All right. This feels good. This was crazy. This is crazy. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Chester Cheetah, for all the good times. You got it, baby. That's weird. All right. All right. Love you, Chester. Everybody, don't forget to disconnect and do the close up slash closing statements and whatever. Um, Love y'all. See you next Bye, time. Guys. Bye.